Cisco announced huge changes to their certification program back in 2019, but then gave us eight months before they implemented those changes in early 2020. And they're following that same model again. They've announced big changes here in late May 2025, but they won't implement those changes until February 2026. In this video, I'll hit the highlights of what they're changing this time. For this video, we'll start talking about two different branding changes. First, with the name of the organization that brings us these certifications, and then a change in the use of the CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE acronyms. Then the details of content changes, blueprint changes, first for DevNet, then for collaboration. Then at the end, I'll give you some suggestions about what you can do next to learn more. Now, about this video, I'm one person. I heard some pre-announcement briefings. I'm giving you a summary of what I heard, but I can make mistakes. So don't base your decisions of what to do next solely on this video. Use Cisco's communications. They're the folks that have the program, so trust Cisco for your decision-making and details on the program. Finally, I mentioned those pre-announcement briefings. Just want to say a quick thank you to the Cisco Designated VIP Program and Cisco Insider Champions for those briefings. It's one of the many, many perks of being in the programs. And by the way, these are programs that you could participate in as well if you meet the criteria. So you can scan those QR codes and learn more. And I'll give you a little bit more about those at the last section of our video. All right, let's get into it. And I'll give you all the details about these new announcements. This first change is a branding change, but honestly, it doesn't impact most of us very much. The organization inside Cisco that brings us certifications and other learning things for a long time has been known as Learning at Cisco, and they're changing the name to Learn with Cisco. So in web pages and communications, you're going to hear of them as Learn with Cisco. And who are those people? Well, they bring you certifications. Here's my favorite URL to go to to get specifically to certifications or the Cisco Learning Network. LearningNetwork.Cisco.com is the normal place I would go to to engage with them. I hang out there a lot. Uh, Cisco U, it's a great site if you haven't checked it out before. Some free and paid content there. So U.Cisco.com, nice, easy URL to remember them. And the Cisco Networking Academy is actually part of their organization now as well. They said that was a change in the recent past. And that's www.netacad.com. We've got another branding discussion, but first I want to talk about timing. So we're starting here in May 2025 talking about things, and Cisco's making announcements but not changing anything. In fact, part of that announcement is that in July, sometime in July, they'll give us even more information, but no changes. But they are announcing on those times that on February 3rd, that specific date, 2026, that's the big day. That's when all the changes happen. So they're, you know, revealing what the changes will be, but exams and courses and certification names, they'll be released and change on February 3rd, 2026. That's the timing. So let's talk about CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE. These terms have been around since the 1990s. And look at the highlighted final word in those acronyms, associate, professional, and expert, and keep those in mind for a moment. Now, here in May 2025, when I recorded this and throughout the rest of 2025, the official terms for the two cybersecurity certifications are cybersecurity associate and professional. In other words, they don't use the CCNA and CCNP acronyms in the official names. They never have. So the branding change is to get rid of the words associate and professional, respectively, and start using CCA, CCNA and CCNP, as you see there. So that's a branding change. It doesn't change the subject matter, the content, the blueprint, the exams, just the branding or the name. For DevNet, same kind of thing. There are three levels in DevNet, associate, professional, and expert currently here in 2025 and before. And those terms are going away and getting replaced with CCNA, DevNet, CCNP, and CCIE. But there's more to this story, all right? So we're using CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE in the future. But the term DevNet for the certifications is also going away. Instead of the word DevNet, it's getting replaced with automation. So there are the final new terms for these levels of formerly DevNet and now automation certifications. 
So when the dust settles, when the changes are made, we'll have CCNA automation, CCNP automation, CCIE automation, CCNA cybersecurity, CCNP cybersecurity, but it doesn't happen yet. Over here on the left, May 27th, 2025, is the announcement of the intent to make this change down the road all the way up to February 2nd. That's all still true. On February 3rd, presto, changeo, it all changes. Your credentials, if you have any of these certifications, your credentials will be changed online to reflect these new terms and names on February 3rd, 2026. So with the formerly DevNet, now automation track, what's going on? Well, the announcement, as I said, May 27th, 2025, nothing changes until February 3rd, 2026. But the announcement says this, for CCNA automation, no change. For CCIE automation, practical, aka lab exam, no change. What's changing? The CCNP level is changing and the blueprints are not out in May 2025. The blueprints are due in July. They'll be version 2.0 blueprints. So a couple of important terms here. They use the word major and version 2.0. That also signals a major update to the blueprints. That means we should expect at least 20% change to each of the blueprints that do change. So watch for major changes to those exams. Beyond that, Cisco is revising some exams and retiring others. So revising, they're going to revise the DevCore exam, renaming it to AutoCore, revising enterprise automation and data center automation. So those will go to the version 2.0 blueprint, but probably as notable is the fact that they are retiring or going to end of life on these four exams, All right? So that may be a surprise, but for those that are revising, you can look for those new blueprints sometime in July, 2025. Now these announcements probably do raise some questions for you. The best place to ask those it's probably the Cisco Learning Network in the DevNet community. I am sure there will be threads there already. You can ask me here, and I'll do my best to get your questions answered. I'm going to be at Cisco Live in uh, the second week of June anyway, and I'm sure I'll be at the CERT Lounge and ask people there. Um, and you can also engage, if you see this video soon enough and hear about it, you can go to Cisco's YouTube channel. I'm sure they'll do a couple of webinars on this and maybe engage with them there as well. And they've announced no changes to CCNA collaboration, no changes to the CCIE lab exam for collaboration. The changes are major for CCNP collaboration, so the same kind of vibe there. But the blueprints are available along with the announcement day, May 27th, so you could go check those out right now. And I suggest you do if you care about collaboration. My personal favorite way to get to exam topics instead of having to click forever is just go to this easily remembered URL, cisco.com slash go slash cert roadmap. That's the cert roadmap page and click the collaboration tab and you'll see all the collaboration exams, CCNA through CCIE and a direct link to the exam topics for each of those. So you should be able to look at those now and what are you going to see? You're going to see revising to version 2.0, these three collaboration exams. You'll see a new cloud-centered collaboration exam introduced with this May 2025 announcement. And you'll see two exams that are being end of life, as you see over there on the right. you can join these same programs that gave me early information about the certification updates. On the left, there's the Cisco Designated VIP Program. It's an invitation program, but they look for people who go engage at the Cisco Learning Network. So I hang out at the Cisco Learning Network. I try to help people out there. And one day they said, hey, Wendell, do you want to be a Cisco Learning Network VIP? I said, sure. And it turns out there are a lot of great perks. But honestly, I would do it without the perks. It's just a great way to give back to others who are in a particular stage of their learning. So check that out if that sounds interesting to you. And then the Cisco Insider Champions Program is one you'd apply to. If you like to talk about technology online and say you write LinkedIn posts and you 
discuss Cisco technology on other social media or you have a blog or you make videos and so on, you do any kind of content creation and talk about technology, then you'd be a candidate for Cisco Insider Champions. You can apply. There are close to 500 Cisco Insider Champions worldwide this cycle. There are a lot of us and it's a great community. So I encourage you to look into that as well. Now, the more direct ways to engage, go to cisco.com slash go slash cert roadmap. Look at the top for this kind of information and opt in. So you're opting in for communications from Learn with Cisco now. And every time you see a question like that from them, say, would you like to opt in? Keep saying yes, because if you say no, you've basically undone your earlier opt in. And then you'll get the occasional email. It's not onerous informing you about things like, hey, there's a big update to the certification program and that kind of thing. So you definitely want to opt in there. I did not have an opportunity to ask Cisco Press about what their plans are in regards to these big changes because I was under NDA with this information from those other programs. But if you want to receive updates from Cisco Press about their plans, you can opt in by using this URL. You'll see a part of the page like this on the right. Plug in your email address, opt in for all communications. They'll let you know when new book titles are coming out, potentially about some of these new certifications. And if you want to opt in with me, there's no opt in. Just go to my link tree and you'll find all my social media accounts and uh, you can connect with me there. Hope you enjoyed the video. This video was fairly different compared to most of what I do. I mostly talk about CCNA. So if you want to learn more about CCNA, on the left, check out my free CCNA course playlist. And on the right, there's a link to my CCNA lab playlist if you're more interested in labs. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you soon.